Roo folks, so welcome all back to, of course, a brand new part in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Today is a very special episode because we are headed to our second gym battle. I did do one thing in between episodes, which was to send out a bunch of the Pokemon that we had in the Pokemon box over to Professor Oak, which means we got a lot of really cool new um, candy sent our way. So actually, I guess let's use some of those so that we could power up our Pokemon. Uh, so we got for the first time, which is kind of interesting. Increases speed by one for Pokemon level uh, 30 or higher. Gotcha. Hmm, okay. HP by one. Smart candy, which is special attack. That would be really good, actually, on Pikachu. So that he'll be OP OP. Okay, um... I think that having Pikachu be fast, as well as incredibly good at special attack, it's kind of the way to go here. I think that will hopefully result in a really, really powerful Pokemon. Because he'll be able to get his moves off first and do a lot of damage while throwing him out there. I'm going to save our Mighty Candy and Tough Candy when we decide on which one we're keeping on the team. Nido Queen or Nido, Ra uh, Nido King. And man, based on that, we'll power up one of them, you know? So, needs one. Why does it say needs one? Huh. That's weird. I'm so confused. Why does it say needs one? Okay. Well, we got Pikachu's HP up to whatever it was. Are these basically like Eevees, kind of? Or no? Am I wrong about that. Oh, the other thing I want to check, actually. I'm curious about one thing. What is this guy? Does he have gifts or no? Uh, I think people are just jealous. Okay, cool. So he's talking about Bill, whom we're gonna help, I think, in a little bit, from what I remember. Here in Cerulean City. I guess technically we could go help him first, but I'd rather get the uh, gym completed first. Because we've built up to this for a little bit now. And now it is time to put Pikachu to the test. There's Misty. Misty, the gym leader of the Cerulean City. Uh, gym is a powerful trainer. You need a Pokemon at least level 15 if you want to challenge her. Show me a Pokemon at least level 15. Yep. We actually have two Pokemon that will do really well in this. Pikachu and Oddish. Hmm. So you see, I think I'm actually going to lead with Oddish, so that that way we uh, go on ahead and are able to... Okay. Uh, that way we're able to have Pikachu be full health for the fight with um, Misty. Because I, from what I remember, her Starmie is actually really, really tough. So that would be uh, challenging to deal with. Because I think it's like level 19 or something like that. Some crazy like that. Luckily, since we have growth as well as sleep powder and all that, I think that Oddish should be doing well in these fights regardless of how it goes. But I will say it's impressive that these guys are level 16. Like, same level as Oddish. So we're definitely not over leveled now. This is a fair fight now. Come on, Oddish. Please land. Oh, no. Okay, come on. Holy moly, that does a lot of damage. Okay. That's good, though, because now we are healed back up. Fantastic. Okay. Now... The team gains a lot of experience as well, which is awesome. We get to move on to the next fight. There's three trainers before you actually get to Misty. Dude, I love what they did with the gym, though. It looks cool. They did a good job of uh, modernizing it, that's for sure. Shelder. What? Okay. I don't remember them having a Shelder, but okay. Level 16 again. Mm. I was going to say, I probably should have used growth for... What? Was that a crit? 
Holy moly. Otters just wiped the floor with the level 16 shelter. That was impressive. Okay. Not bad. If we can get Otters to level 17, that'd be awesome. From this fight here. Which I think will happen because he's like right around uh, the brink of leveling up. I think we need maybe like 20, 30 more experience points. All right, this is Daisy. Let's see what she has to offer. A seal. Okay. She has a seal. Oddish. Let's see how well you will do against seal. I'm going to go with absorb first just to see how much damage we do. She's going to take recoil. No, from that? I thought you'd take recoil damage from headbutt. Okay. We will take two headbutts, I guess. But I think because of growth, I think that now Absorb is going to be a one-hit K. I I mean, it's going to be able to do the rest of Seal's HP, which means that Oddish is going to be back to full health. So there was a, there was a strategy there, and that played out nicely. Okay, cool. Because I try not to, in the gym battles, I try to go like, if you're in the gym, that's it. You have to battle through all the trainers and the gym leader. So I try to make it like super challenging like that. Okay, awesome. Pidgey leveled up as well. Fantastic. Okay, everybody. Whew, here we go. Let's see. Hey, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What's your approach? My policy for battle is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Misty, the world-famous beauty, is your host. Super modest, huh? My sweet Pokemon are ready. Are you? It's got that humbleness and modesty going. Let's rock and roll. Okay. Wow, Psyduck. What the heck? Okay, I don't remember that in the original game. I thought she had a star you and a star me. Or star me and star you. Whichever order they go in. Okay. So. My gosh. Is Psyduck a water type or is he a... You see, I'm actually not sure. That was lame. Um. Uh, okay, we're gonna start slow here. My gosh, a level 18 Psyduck. This is not looking good. Bite. Okay, and then the other thing I could do is probably use Revive, right? On the Oddish. To get him re-prepared for battle. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out uh, the two Nidorans first. Use maybe potions to heal them up. Go with double kick here. That's gonna be a KO. Wow. Oh, he got a crit. Of course he did. Of course he did. Oh, how ridiculous is that? A crit? Really? My gosh. Okay. Let's try double kick again. Please don't tell me it's a one. Yeah, okay, good. There we go. Got him down to half health. Or around half health. Okay, so this gets Oddish back to full health. Which means we can go on ahead and call upon Oddish into this fight again. <laughs> All right, Oddish. Let's go, buddy. She's gonna be shocked. She's like, wait, what? He's got two Oddishes? Just doesn't make sense. Okay. Please. Okay, good. 
Hey, what's up, dude? How you like them apples, my friend? How do you like them apples? Um... Okay, the problem is that he's gonna get us back down to, like, a sliver of health, and... Then he gets to rock and roll again. Alright. Here comes Starmie. My gosh, this one's gonna be like level... Oh, 19, okay. Not 21, at least. If she was level 21, we would have been done for. Oh my gosh, good job. Oddish, you survived that. Okay. If I use a potion... I think if I use a potion here, I think we'll be able to take a swift. I'm 31 to 18, but now nah, I'm worried. Because if she gets a crit, that will KO Oddish. I don't want to risk it. Now, the funny thing is that, of course, I'm aware of the fact that I have a Pikachu that's sitting there, ready for battle, that could probably wipe the floor with this Starmie at this point. But I'd rather be safe than sorry and do a li little bit... Holy, that scared me. I thought I was going to get the KO there. Do a little bit more damage with Oddish. I think she's going to use a potion as well, isn't she? Oh, she didn't. That was surprising. Wait, is Oddish going to win this? Wow, okay. That's actually kind of bizarre. We never actually used Pikachu. I I honestly just thought that it, like we were going to get absolutely decimated. After what Psyduck did, Psyduck was tougher than the Starmie for sure. You can have the Cascade badge to show that you beat me. Okay, Whew. it was a challenge for sure. And we got Scald now. Very cool. So once we have a Water-type Pokemon, we can actually use that. That was awesome, guys! We have earned our second Gym Badge! That's a big, big deal. Especially considering, by most accounts, we were under-leveled for this Gym. We were definitely under-leveled. And we still managed to come through with the victory. Which is just awesome. So... I am very, 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 very proud of the team. Oh, okay. Everybody did their part there, honestly. Because Nidoran and Nidor uh, Nidoran, male and female, both, obviously, with the double kicks was very... Well, Nidoran and female got KO'd because of the critical hit, which was just unlucky, unfortunately. But either way, we did quite well. All right, let's set Pikachu back to the forefront here. Even though Oddish has been dominating the team so far. All right, so I think it's safe for us to go on ahead and make way up here. Oh, hello. You've got... You're not going to believe this. Pokemon, it... What? Why is he crying? Did you just trick us into a fight? You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Gamer. He sent out a Pidgey. Okay, Pikachu, time for you to battle. You haven't done this in a while. Level 12, okay. Ooh, quick attack. Man, quick attack gets uh, to go ahead of a Pikachu that's super duper fast as it is. That's cool. I guess it gets the plus one priority, right? So that's why. Oddish. Hmm. Yeah, I will switch Pokemon. We're going to get this Pidgey out here and use the, um, oh, no, not Gust. What was the new attack that we have? Wing? Is it Wings Gust or something? It's Wing something. Wing attack. Yikes. Boy, boy, Oddish. Not bad. About to send out his Eevee. I think we can keep the uh, Pidgey in here. 
give him a chance to get the victory. Quick attack, not bad. There's wing attack. Is he gonna go for another quick attack? Man, from what I heard, by the way, some of you guys told me when I did uh, part one that Eevee and Pikachu in this game can't evolve. Like, they're your partner Pokemon, so they cannot actually evolve. So when I think about it, I'm like, it really stinks for him because, like, how many moves can he really teach to that Eevee, you know? Like, Pikachu will have a lot of powerful electric-type moves, at least. Uh, there's a house up ahead where there's this famous Pokemon fanatic is supposed to live. I wanted to stop by because I thought maybe I'd uh, get to see a rare Pokemon or something. But what I found, and don't freak out when I hear this, when you hear this, that Pokemon fanatic Bill wasn't there. Instead, there was a Pokemon that talked. Yeesh, just was thinking about it. it. Gives me the creeps. Don't go in there, Blitz. What's going on with you? Okay. Here we go, guys. Route number 24. Where there's lots and lots of trainers that will challenge our team. So that's perfect, because obviously we get to level up here. Now, the interesting thing is that usually I would honestly go through this route first before actually battling Misty so that we would be leveled up higher than we were before. But I thought to myself, like, you know what? It would be nice to go on ahead and go into the Misty Gym with a little bit of a lower level team so that it becomes a true challenge for us. And it certainly was. By all accounts, that was not an easy fight. We had to use potions, a revive, so that was no joke. We wasted, I think, three or four potions in that fight, so definitely a challenge and a half there. Pikachu's almost level 18. That's awesome. Okay, we have three other trainers after this. And of course, to the left of us is a cave in which certain Pokemon known as Mewtwo is supposed to reside in. So maybe we'll be able to find him. Oh no, here's a Psyduck again. This is like our team's biggest nightmare is Psyduck, no. Because honestly, that Psyduck just walked through the team. Okay, never mind. I guess it needs to be a level 17 Psyduck to challenge the team. Because otherwise Pikachu makes quick work of that enemy. Light screen. Hmm. Double team, Thunder Wave. Hmm. Uh, I'll use it. Why not? It'll be good for competitive play. Just thinking ahead. I don't even know if there is a move learner in this. I'm not sure. Oh, sorry. I think there's four trainers actually up ahead. And then there's another lane of trainers. So this is going to be a very trainer heavy episode. Not quite as much exploration. Just because we have to deal with a ton, a ton of trainers. Okay, so Pikachu's not ideal in this fight. But because we do have double kick, we should be able to still win this one quite easily. Poison Sting, please don't get poisoned. Pikachu, please, not again. Okay, good. We definitely need to buy uh, the poison healing item, for sure, after this. Whenever we return back to Cerulean City. Ooh, Oddish is level 18. He wants to learn Razor Leaf. I also think... Don't quote me on this. Oh man, I don't know what to get rid of. I want to keep growth. And I want... I guess we'll get rid of... Mm, Absorb is probably the one to go here. Because Sleep Powder could be useful as well in competitive play. Is this one... Uh, he evolves? Oddish? No. I guess it's a little 20-something. It's either 20 or maybe 22. Something like that. Man, I thought we were going to see our first evolution. 
I think like, the first evolution we're going to see is probably going to be Pidgey, right? Because I think Pidgey evolves at 18. Level 18, I think, is when we will see the Pidgey evolution. So that'll be nice. All right, go for the double kick. Holy moly, never mind. Go for the single kick, Pikachu. Dropping all kinds of damage on that Meowth. That Meowth didn't even know what hit him. That guy was like, what in the heck was that? Okay, another train. Ooh, there's a Charmander up ahead. A trainer with a Charmander, I should say. Not just a Charmander. Okay, we got Camper Kevin. Who's got a Growlithe. This would be an awesome fire type. I would love to have an Arcanine. Because I know everybody else is going to have a Charizard and stuff like that. So I want to try to make my team unique. Like, you know, if we have Pikachu, Vileplume, Pidgeot, Arcanine, Nidoking or Nidoqueen, and then another Pokemon. That's one heck of a team, you know? Like, our team is going to round out to a pretty sweet lineup. Okay. Hmm. We could go from... Man, but Mirror Move is actually pretty decent. But you know what? Roost is important to have. And I want to keep Quick Attack on him, because I know that'll be useful. We need to have Wing Attack. So... I guess I could have got rid of... Uh, what was the other move that he had? Sand Attack? I probably should have got rid of that, actually. Oh, nice! We got two Great Balls. That's good. Because we don't actually have any... <gasps> Our first evolution, folks! Nidoran female! Sweet! Yes! That is awesome! Very cool! Into Nidorina! That is awesome! That is fantastic! Oh! Nidoran male is evolving as well! Let's go. I love that they're evolving at the exact same time. Like, because we caught them at the same point with the same level, so it's awesome. Okay, we got a Nidorino as well. Sweet. So now we need Moonstones or Moon Rocks in order to uh, evolve those guys into. Uh, Nido Queen and Nido King. Congratulations, you beat our four fabulous trainers. Or sorry, you beat our four, uh, five trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize. That's what it was. Okay, we got another nugget, so we can go on ahead and sell that later on. That's right. Uh oh. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. That's not an offer. You're just forcing us to fight you, man. That's not how offers work. Okay, he's got a Zubat. That's fine. We got a Pikachu. Pikachu? We just celebrated our first evolution. Or we celebrated... Dude, this episode was so significant. We got our second badge. We got our first and second uh, evolutions. That's pretty awesome. Uh... Oh, whoops. No, I think we can keep... Pikachu in this fight. I think Thundershock will do fine. Especially considering the huge lead we have in terms of level. Okay. Unfortunately, it didn't do quite enough. Ugh, that's the worst. Because the poison does way more damage. Like, look at that. That did six damage. Six hit points. Are you kidding me, man? Okay, bye-bye, coughing. You've been defeated. Okay. Got 300 Poké Dollars there. You can become a top leader in Team Rocket. Yeah, we're not interested. Thank you for such a gracious offer. Hello. Feel sorry for my Char Charmander because it can't get stronger, so I want to give it a better trainer than me. Are you interested? What? I've caught 50 Pokemon. You should catch more than that. Oh, okay. So if we catch more than 50 Pokemon, that guy's going to give us a Charmander? 
It would be kind of awesome to have a Charmander. But the problem is that, again, like I said... I mean, I love Charizard. It's quite possibly my favorite Pokemon. So, it would be awesome to have him on the team. But at the same time, it's kind of like everybody's going to have a Charizard on their team. So, it's almost like I'd want to pick something different for my fire type. There's not a lot to choose from, unfortunately, in the first gen as far as fire types are concerned. You have, like, what, Ponyta and Rapidash. You have Arcanine and uh, Growlithe. And... What else do you have? Oh, Vulpix, right? Vulpix. Is Vulpix and Ninetales? Both? In the original? Oh, okay. The disrespect is real, bro. That audit just dodged. He was like, nope, not today. Don't think so. Just moved out of the way. Which is just ridiculous. Actually, I'm curious. How many Pokemon have we caught? I'm kind of curious to find out. Okay, let's find out, actually. Let's bring up our Pokedex. I'm sure that'll have that information. Pokemon obtained 19. Only 19. Now, of course, keep in mind, when it says 19, it means unique. Yes, here we go. There's a unique one. It's Venon... Is it Venonet? I always forget how to pronounce this one's name. Or Venomath. Venonet. Okay. Okay, he's trolling me. Excellent throw. Maybe we catch him on our second Pokeball throw? Nope. Another excellent throw. Two excellent throws. And that seems to have been enough. Cool. We get 65 experience points as well. We're tied to levels up. Uh, wants to learn Super Fang. Yes, please. Um, I guess let's get rid of Tackle. Even though it's kind of redundant to have Super Fang and Bite. But I think that Super Fang is not a dark type move, whereas Bite is. So... It'll be uh, a little bit more unique that way. Okay, so now we've caught 20 Pokemon. 20 unique Pokemon have been caught by yours truly. Okay, let's see what's up ahead, folks. There's a Psyduck. That'd be a cool catch. Um, I think probably making a swap to Oddish here would be a good idea. Because I think this guy's going to have, like, Geodudes and stuff like that. Wait, is that the same guy from Mount Moon? Because he just said something about Mount Moon. Hiker Franklin. He's got an Onyx. Yeah. Maybe I should have tried to catch an Onyx as well in Mount Moon. So then we could have a ride Pokemon. Dude, this Onyx is higher level than... What's his face? Uh, Brox. Seems a little odd, doesn't it? His rage is building. That's good for him. I think I do need to increase the um, speed on the Oddish, though, because he seems to be so slow. Like, if he's slower than an Onyx, that's a problem, you know? And he's not going to be super tanky, so... Makes him vulnerable in fights, for sure. Okay, here we go. It's going to be our 21st catch. Shyduck. And... Excellent throw again. Dude, I'm just getting excellent throws left, right, and center. What's up? Okay, never mind. And... That was pretty bad. Not gonna lie. If we catch him with this one, I'm gonna be shocked. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Okay, probably could have used the Raspberry here, maybe. Or the Great Ball, but we'll see. Maybe an excellent cat, an excellent throw would be enough. Alright, let's give him a Raspberry. And... 
Another excellent throw. Maybe we get him now. Three excellent throws later, we got it. Okay, so Psyduck is actually kind of a good catch because we could go on ahead and get, um, what's the name of the water type? Golduck, that would be kind of cool. I also somewhat want to get the Gyarados. I was thinking a Gyarados would be a cool water type to have on the team. So I don't know. I'll leave that to you guys to leave some suggestions as well. You got an X special defense. Another Psyduck. Okay, hello. Trainers come here to practice. Yeah, I can definitely tell. I feel like we fought like 400 trainers in the span of this episode. A Pidgeotto. Oh, dude. Spoiler alert. I was hoping we wouldn't see one of those until we got ours. Okay, I probably should just switch to Pikachu, honestly. That would be the smarter thing here to do. Wow, yeah. Especially because he's going to have super effective damage on Oddish. Ah, whatever. At this point, we might as well just try to play this out. Because if I switched into Pikachu, he would take a lot of damage. And oh, look, that was a crit as well. So it would have done a lot of damage plus the poison on Pikachu. So that's the way I justify that one. We had to fight it out. All right, Pikachu, Thundershock, and win this. Ta-da! Super effective. Hey, not bad. That's level 19 for Pikachu. Almost at level 20, guys. Awesome. Wait, that's interesting. So if they don't get to... That was interesting. If they don't get their first attack off... Like, sorry, if you, Pikachu knocks him out in one shot, then he doesn't take poison damage? Oh my gosh. Ugh, how much I wish we had an Oddish right now. Because I don't think this will do enough, but let's find out. Never mind. I was incredibly wrong. It does more than enough. Okay, nice. Nidorina is now level 17. Nidorino is level 17 as well. Awesome. Very cool. Okay, got a super potion. Which is awesome, especially if we need that for Pikachu. That'll be great. And here we go, folks. Another fight. Youngster Dan. He's got two Pokemon, so that means Pikachu is going to take poison damage no matter what. Ah, oh, that stinks. I mean, I think we might be able to get this one with one Thunder Shock, so maybe he'll take poison damage only once. Nope, he's going to have to take it at least three times. Or at least twice, sorry. And that, of course, still depends on what his other Pokemon is. So, poison does a little bit more than 10% of your health, which is crazy. Like, max health, I should say. So that should take him down to 25 HP, yep. What did he say? Is it Rattata? If it's Rattata, this is fine, because we'll use uh, Double Kick. Now, of course, he might have Quick Attack, which will do more damage, so that stinks. We'll see. Yep. So Pikachu's going to be at 12 HP, but luckily we got that Super Potion, so I can heal back up. For the most part. Or actually, I don't probably even need to use the Super Potion. I think we could probably just use a Potion or two. Okay. There we go. Did we have a... Uh, whoops, sorry. Wrong thing. I guess we could actually go on ahead and quickly send this Oddish to the professor.
You've earned yourself a reward. Cool. Smart Candy L. We've sent 26 Pokemon to Professor Oak. It's kind of crazy. Do we have something that heals the poisoning thing? It does. We do not. Okay, we have probably two or three more trainers before we get to Bill. But we're definitely going to get to Bill today. We got to. We've got to. Geo dude, incoming. You know what? I probably should have just used Revive on the Oddish. Yeah. Because then Pikachu would not have to fight these fights. Because we have an Oddish that could just Razor Leaf these enemies. Oh, Stealth Rock. Holy, okay. That's some competitive play right there. Coming in hot. Okay, one more double kick should get the... Wait, how did he get to attack first? Is it because Bide has to, like, build up? Is that why? So it gets, like, a priority charge or something? It probably is the case. Hey, PG's level 18, which I think... Isn't that when he evolves? I'm a chop. Wow. Hmm. Let's go, Pidgey. It's time to shine, my friend. Get back here, Pikachu. Stop taking poison damage. It's all about Pidgey now. Dude, Machop is cool. I've always liked Machop. Of course, he's got a really cool evolution line as well. Machamp. Or Machoke, then Machamp, of course. Okay. That's a victory for our team. Fantastic. 500 more Poke Dollars plus three more Pokeballs gathered. And here we go, folks. I was right. It's time for our third evolution. We got three evolutions today, guys. This is brilliant. There we go. Whoo! That is awesome. So we've got a Pidgeotto. Which means that there's still one more evolution in this particular evolution tree to go. But that is fantastic. We got ourselves an evolved version of Pidgey now on the team. Okay, so I think... Oh, whoops, not bag, sorry. Party. I think that actually, if I... You see, I kind of... Yeah, I want to revive uh, Oddish so that he is... Um able to uh, gain experience as well from the fights, because right now he's not, and that stinks. Let's heal him up. Cool. And then Pidgeotto healed up as well. Okay, let's proceed. I probably should also have gone with uh, Pidgeotto to fight these guys, because they're probably going to have bug types, I'm guessing. Picnicker Kelsey? A gold wow, okay, never mind. I'm glad we have uh, Oddish back on the team. Even though Pikachu obviously would have done well here as well with Thundershock and all. But it's nice to have Oddish back on the team. Who just like pretty much carried us through uh, the Misty fight. Dang, that horn attack does a lot. Even at five level difference, it's insane how much it does. Yeah, I gotta get I gotta get Oddish some more speed because he's too slow. He's too slow, bro. Almost leveled up. Two great balls collected as well. Okay. Isn't this trainer going to walk forward? There we go. Because we need to try to get that Pokeball there. Because if we walk towards him, then we wouldn't be able to get that Pokeball behind him. Let's see what you got. Camper Dustin. He's got one Pokemon, and it's a... <gasps> Squirtle! First time seeing Squirtle! Oh, dude, what a great character model. Dang, that would be a cool water type to have, huh? But again, I, I want to try to avoid using the ones that, like, everyone's going to use, like, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, you know? Like, almost everyone is going to have those three, then, in order to get Blastoise, Venusaur, and Charizard on the team, which is awesome, don't get me wrong, it's cool and all. But I just feel like, honestly, it. I would like to have, like, a more unique team for our run, you know? Oddish is now level 19. 
Wait, is Oddish a level ahead of Pikachu? Is he the same level? I think he's the same level. Okay. Let's get that. Nice. We got Thunder Wave now. TM16. Gathered. And an Ether collected as well. And I think this is the last trainer before we reach Trainer Bill's laboratory. Alas, Haley? Oh, wow. She's got an Oddish of her own. Okay. Oddish v. Oddish. Let's see how this goes, huh? Okay. Special defense has fallen as well. Ooh, she went with growth. Which is a good strategy, except for the fact that, of course, um, she's not actually going to get a chance to use that, because luckily our Oddish is quicker. Probably because he's a higher level. Okay. And she's sending out a Pidgey, which means we need to make a swap -aroni. Pepperoni into Pikachu. It only makes sense, after all. Alright, Pikachu, get ready. We just need one good Thundershock. If he can do that, we can walk away with the victory, my friend. Man, quick attack stinks. Okay, there we go. Victory. And I was wrong about Pikachu being uh, a lower level than Oddish. He's actually almost a level ahead. Is this guy trainer too? My gosh. Oh, is this the guy with all the magic carps? So this is the first time we're finding one of the fisherman characters. Yeah, fisherman Wayne. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> yep, here comes the magic carp. Wow, what a crazy challenge. I hope this one at least knows something beyond flail. Because if he doesn't, it's like, good luck, dude. Yep, nothing happened. I've always found it hilarious that Magikarp then turns into Gyarados. Because it's like the most unexpected thing. You know, you're like, oh, look at this useless goldfish. And then suddenly, boom, shakalaka. Ooh. That's another interesting water type to consider for our team. Krabby. We could also, of course, consider maybe Lapras, right? Is Lapras from the original or no? no I can't remember for some reason. I think Lapras is in the original 151, no? Okay, I got another victory. And so we are able to now head towards... Oh, okay, there's another trainer. One of them battle trainers. Okay, I'm willing to try that out. Those battles are not fun, I'll tell you that much, because they're very, 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 very challenging. But if we can get Pikachu and Oddish to be full health, I think we got this. Ooh, you know what else I should check? Our clothing trunk. Did we get any new outfits? We did not. I guess we haven't really been to the store, so how could we get new outfits? Okay, here we go. The last two fights were weird, because the first one was actually quite tough. The second one was quite easy against these coach trainers. So we'll see how this one goes. Got him a chop. Uh, Pidgeotto would do far better here against the Machop, but we'll see how this goes. We'll use Growth to increase special attack. Holy moly. Well, that seemed like it should do much more damage based on what just happened. Okay, so I don't know if Acid or Razor Leaf will do better, so we're going to test out... Okay, never mind. We're going to test out both, but it wasn't even necessary. Because Oddish is victorious. And it is also very glorious. Ta-da! Brilliant. 1,600 Poker Dollars. Holy moly, that's a lot. And she gave us the TM-15, Seismic Toss. Very cool. That actually would be probably quite good on either Nidoking or Nidoqueen. Or Nidorino or Nidor... 
Nido Reno or Nido Rain? Nah. All right, Bill, where are you at? Are you in one of these traps now? Are you in there? Pikachu! There's a... Is that a ground? No, it's a Nidorino. Hello! Hey, uh, I'm a Pokemon. No, I mean, uh, I'm Bill. Call me Bill. I'm a true, uh, true blue Pokemon fanatic. What's with the skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with the, co uh, the Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here. Okay. I'm gonna climb inside the teleporter so you run the cell separation system for me. You can do it from the PC over there. You're gonna do it for me, right? Don't leave me hanging. I'm counting on you, pal. Okay. Okay, here we go, folks. It's time to separate Bill from Nidorino. Pikachu's just having a blast. Whoa! Ta da! That sounds like a Nidorino. And that looks like a human being. Hello, Bill! Seems as though they've separated. Yee haw! Thanks, bud! I owe you one! Uh, you got any Pokemon? Sorry, you've got your Pokemon box right there in your bag? Good job. If you ever catch too many Pokemon and your box gets full, send some of those Pokemon to Professor Oak. I bet he'd be mighty thankful. Oh, look at me. I forgot uh, my own head if it weren't attached. I should do something to thank you, too. You did save me, after all. Maybe this'll do. Hey! Okay, so we got uh, the SS tickets. So now we can uh, go on ahead and use the SS hand to head to Vermilion City. They invited me to some party on board, but I can't stand fancy gatherings. Why don't you go instead of me? There are a couple of tickets in there, so have some fun with a friend or something. Okay, cool. Thank you, Bill. So that is that task completed. And now we can go on ahead, and from what I remember, there's a shortcut that we can take running through here. Guys, look at how many trainers we fought. Every one of those people you see there, we have battled today. That is crazy. Oh, hello. What did you find? Another raspberry, cool. Speaking of which, we should actually buy a few of those. And we have a pretty hefty amount of uh, polka dollars at this point, so we really can't afford to do some good shopping. So here we go, guys. Give me back my Pokeball! There's a Squirtle. How could it do such a thing? I need to keep an eye on this house. Get back here. Yep. That's a very, very important house. But what we need to do is actually go on ahead and arrest our Pokemon. So that they can recoup after all the crazy battles that they went through. Look at that team, by the way. Starting to look pretty stylish, huh? Soon we're going to have a Gloom as well. So that'll be great. So that team is coming together nicely. For sure. Alright, so. What we need to do now. Before we wrap it up. Is this the bike shop, by the way? I wonder if we still get a bike in the game. Feel free to have a look. Okay. Um, okay. I won't let you ride or buy one. <laughs> I like that attitude. He's like, hey, listen, this is a bike shop. It's a bike collection. But you can't have any of them. So get out of here. Whoa, hello. That's an electrode. My first time seeing one of him. He's huge. Okay, hello. So. Antidote, that's what we need. Let's buy like five of those. Okay, thank you. Then, yeah, we don't really need anything there. What we could do is probably buy a couple of great balls. 
Let's buy like 25. I think that should be plenty. Oh, okay. We got two more premier balls as well. I guess let's buy five more so that then he gives us another premier ball, right? I think that's how it works. Let's see. Oh, no. That stinks. We had to buy 30 of them at once. Ah, man. I thought it would, like, accumulate and say, like, hey, it's like a stamp card, you know, like, where if you bought X amount of items, then you get the next one as a reward. But nope, no such luck, unfortunately. So with that in mind, ladies and gents, on the next episode, we're going to find out what is this mysterious house all about?